Hello, welcome to the Oshogatsu Posters exhibit at the National Japanese American Historical Society. My name is Nia Nikaido. Um, I'm an art history major um, and cognitive science major at UCLA, and I was one of the volunteers who assisted on the installation of this exhibit. The exhibit's name is Oshogatsu Posters by Jam Workshop Retrospective, 1977 to 1999. San Francisco's Japantown Art and Media, or JAM, workshop was a community art nonprofit organization that operated from 1977 through 1999. Many of JAM workshop's screen printed posters were devoted to announcing Japanese community events, which included the annual Shogatsu Festival, where people gathered and continue to gather to participate in traditional Japanese New Year celebrations, including mochi pounding, amateur sumo tournaments, cultural performances, and art and craft booths featuring Asian Zodiac-themed shirts. Mochi is shown in many of these posters as it symbolizes the wish for a long life during Oshogatsu. Over the years, as the Asian Zodiac cycles, a new animal is used as the primary theme for each festival, and for many years, the dominant theme for its respective poster. These colorful and bold screen printed works of art express the innovative individual styles of their creators. For example, Ruth Takeuchi's work draws from the traditional woodblock prints as well as formal Japanese culture. And Hideo Chester Yoshida conveys the playful and vibrant childlike nature of Oshogatsu. The exhibit guest curator is Rich Tokeshi and from the National Japanese American Historical Society. The executive director working with this uh, exhibit um, is Roslyn Tonai. Uh, the collections manager are Lilith Benjamin with assistance from Max Nihei. The program assistants are Tim Chen and Leslie Zhu. And the exhibit installation volunteers are Charlene Tonai Din, Chanel Mao, Mia Nikaido, and Lynn and Wes Nihei and Noel So. My name's uh, Rich Tokeshi, and um, part of the time I was a volunteer and part of the time I was paid staff. Well, for the whole time of its existence, I was there from the beginning to the end. So 1977, I was there at the opening, and then I was there at the end when uh, Dennis closed the workshop. Um, I've always been there. I've always been the one to uh, to uh, uh, do the screening and to organize it. Paid it at, you know, at Oshogatsu by first um, securing the funding for it. Uh, Dennis always secured funds for it. Um, the intent of the posters was just to publicize the event and to let people know that it was coming. Uh, we did that not only for Oshogatsu, we did it for street fair, we did it for uh, all kinds of different events that happened. Mizue. Mizue Murai did the very first uh, silkscreen poster, and it was not done at JAM. It was done at Kearney Street Workshop. But she was a part of JAM Workshop. She was part of the portrait drawing class. That was uh, Mitsu Yashima's portrait drawing class. So Mizue was a very good artist, but she knew nothing about producing a silkscreen poster. And the third one is the one that she and I worked on together. Uh, Ruth Takeuchi's, um, she did it three years in a row. 
and um, hers really stand out to me. Uh, she uh, was either born or raised in Japan. I think maybe she's Kibe, studied in Japan. And um, so she knows all of the uh, more formal, traditional symbols of Oshogatsu. And she incorporated those in her posters. When they were given the task of, of doing the poster, I think they came up with the image and uh, carried through on it, uh, produced it. And of course, uh, the other artists in the workshop, myself and Wes Senzaki, Paul Kagawa, we all helped to screen if we were, if we were around. Uh, Paul was around in the very beginning of the workshop, so 1977, 78, 79. So he was there for those early posters. And then Wes was there until he moved to LA, which was maybe in 83 or so. He had to crank it out in, uh, you know, a few days, three or four days. It depend on, depended on the individual artist. What happened was uh, Florence Nagamoto is a senior, Hamilton Senior Center, uh, which met on Wednesdays. She came up with a lot of the images of uh, Shogatsu. She would do drawings and then uh, turn it over to uh, Jam Workshop. And then Jam, uh, whoever was in charge of the, the graphic design part of Jam, uh, would pick an artist, an intern usually, to create an image from uh, Florence's drawings. That went on for a long time. Yeah. In fact, I, I think it, it went on from maybe early 90s until the end of the workshop, 99. Every time that um, somebody came to screen posters, uh, they had to contribute five copies to Jam itself. To the workshop and uh, so then Dennis took copies all five copies of everything and sent them out to ninjas he sent it to the Japanese American library he sent it to LA to the LA Museum to the San Jose Museum and to the uh, um, JCCCNC archive we did a silkscreen uh, demo at Oshogatsu, at every Oshogatsu from, oh, roughly, I'd say 1982 or something like that, uh, on, onward uh, to, the, to today. Uh, we would silk screen uh, light colored t shirts, um, and we would always screen the uh, uh, Oshogatsu image on there, whatever animal it was. Um, and usually it was uh, Wes Senzaki who did the image. And uh, he kept doing it until he had a whole set. He had 12 of the uh, Chinese Zodiac images. Uh, and then we just kept repeating them and repeating them. Um, we're on about the third cycle now. Uh, and then uh, maybe about uh, 10 or 12 years ago, Leon's son started to come up with uh, images, draw images. We would offer uh, people a choice of either Wes's image or Leon's image. Uh, Wes's image was always very uh, design. And um, Leon's is always very loose and very uh, more fun, more more for kids, childlike. 